pillowcase together using the burrito method. You're gonna start with the three pieces, your cuff, your trim, and the pillow body. So just lay them out this way, and you're going to fold your trim in half and press it. So now it looks like this, okay? Then you're going to lay the cuff right side up, and you're going to lay the little trim piece along the top edge and then the body we're actually going to flip so it'll be right sides together and it's going to lay along the top edge also now i'm going to go through uh, through the the seam here and i'm going to start pinning it all three pieces together the edges don't actually have to line up as close as you can get them, but you will trim those away later. You can trim them now. I prefer to wait until after the pillowcase has been, the initial seam has been sewn. Okay, now that they're pinned, we're going to make our little burrito. Slide this up on the table. Working on a flat surface helps. I fold the body almost in half and then again, and again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually roll it. Roll, roll, roll. All right. And then we're gonna take, you can see the cuff here. We're gonna take that cuff and we're gonna bring it around the body of the, of the pillowcase. See, bring it up and over that roll. Make sure you don't catch the roll in the seam allowance here. This time you're gonna pin across the top and this, you definitely want to line up so that all, at this point, there's like five layers in here. One, two, three, four, five. And pin it more. This is what you're gonna sew on. So, however comfortable you are, I like to have, you know, this maybe four or five inches in between. It's okay, bummy. Again, line them up. And when you get, this edge is somewhat straight, evened up here. Again, that's all gonna be cut away. The salvage is all gonna be cut away. But when we get to the other end, it might be uneven because you might have three different fabric lines in here that some are 45 inches wide, some are 43 inches. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna start sewing my pillowcase together here. You can use a bunny tail. That way you won't get the little threads gummed up underneath your machine, and that helps. Lift your presser foot, slide it under there. You can take however big a seam allowance you want. I'm just gonna take whatever the seam allowance is on this particular foot. I have not measured it, so I'm not sure. But it's not a quilt, so it's okay. Stop as you get to the pins and pull them out. Otherwise, you will break your needle. And I sew with my needle in the down position, so when I stop, the needle is inside of the fat inside the sewing machine. Okay, you do not need a back tack. Run off and then add your bunny tail back on there and you're ready to start your next one or your next seam. Okay, so now we're ready to, this is the burrito part of the burrito roll. Now we're ready to turn it inside out. So everything has been rolled up inside there. See all that in there? And as long as I didn't catch it in the seam allowance, it should pull out. So now I'm gonna start pulling it out. This could take a little while. It's just, you just have to work at getting it out. Just pull, pull, pull. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. All right, now, I'm gonna flip it out here. Now, this is what's really cool, is your seam is now inside of here. See where it's inside? And when we press it, it's gonna be caught between your cuff, your trim, and your pillowcase body, and there is no seam on the inside of the pillowcase here. So we're gonna press this, and then we're gonna sew up the rest of the pillow. So you can trim off all of the salvage.
and just put your ruler right up against where the salvage meets the printed part of your fabric. And the other side. And in some cases, you'll see this is a rather a wide salvage on this side. Start with the widest part of it. And you will lose a little bit more up here the cuff. That's okay. It's not going to make a difference when you sew the pillowcase together. And to make the French seam, we're actually going to fold the pillowcase wrong sides together. And your first seam is going to be on the outside of the pillowcase. Line up the cuff top where your trim is here. Oops, sorry. Right here. And then pin that. Okay, so we have our pillowcase pinned and now we're gonna start sewing the seam here. Take about a quarter inch seam allowance. And when you start out, do a back tack at the top. Oh, and I like to sew with mine in the down position. Stop before you reach the pins, pull them out, or you will break your needle. So we've sewn our quilt, our pillowcase together, and now I need to trim this seam allowance down to an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to do that. When we turn our pillowcase, inside out to make a flat seam, you want to make sure that you're catching this eighth inch seam inside of the new seam you'll create. Okay. Now, flip it inside out and press the edges. So now we're gonna press our pillowcase and you wanna make sure that you get this seam pressed really flat and tight. So I like to roll it and press it as I go. And you're catching that eighth inch seam right in here and you can see where that eighth, eighth inch seam is. And with our quarter inch seam, we're gonna take in a minute, it'll capture it between it. Okay, so now the pillowcase is pressed again, a very tight little seam along here all the way up here. There is where all that seam allowance came together right here is a big bump. That's gonna be, that's a, when we get to that point, we're gonna have to go very slow. Okay, now we're gonna start sewing right down a quarter inch seam allowance. You can take a little bit bigger one if you're not comfortable with a quarter inch. I would back tack here at the beginning. And then just sew. Okay, I'm getting to my lump. So slow, so that you get over that lump. And you can even take a little bit smaller stitch if you like. All right, there we go. Now we're just gonna sew this rest of this together. And as we're sewing, that little raw edge that we had, and we fold it between these two layers, is being sandwiched between the two layers and this stitch is gonna keep it in place and you're not gonna see it when I turn this inside out. Take a little back tack when you get to the end here. There we go. Okay, take it off and turn it inside out again. Okay, so our seam is all done. We're gonna stick our hands inside, take our two corners and flip it inside out. And there is your pillowcase. No seam on the inside, it's all covered up. No seam on the cuff, all covered up. 